Good morning. Uh, as I promised, I will be building the uh, IR sensor circuit for this car parking system. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see here, I am using a breadboard. Uh, when you are using breadboard, you don't need to use soldering. You don't. You don't need to do some soldering. Okay. So this is very convenient for us in building a circuit. Okay. In my PCB, I already have my IR sensor. Okay. Then I already have my two LED light. Now, in my previous video, as you can see there, uh, I use white LED and red LED. White LED will indicate that the parking slot is not occupied. When the red LED is lit, then gives an idea that the parking space is already occupied but in this uh, circuit building I'll be using green and blue okay I will be using the blue for occupied slot and green for an occupied slot okay now as you can see in the breadboard we have here uh, rows okay so one row is labeled plus and the other row is labeled negative so as you know, we are we will be using power supply for these uh, components. So the power supply needed is the five volts, and for the negative is the ground. Now this five volts and ground will be coming from our Arduino board. Okay, later I will show you where we are going to get this power supply. Now the other component in that in this PCB is the IR sensor. So how I how IR sensor works. Basically, this IR sensor has two LEDs, okay? One of the LED will transmit and the other LED will receive, okay? So, when an object uh, approaches this IR sensor, it will be sensed by another LED and it will be transmitted by the another LED. So, this is uh, how an IR sensor works, okay? Now, you can check in some of the... YouTube channel where you can find how exactly IR works okay now in this IR sensor we have three pins three pins labeled VCC BCC ground and out okay so BCC we will provide 5 volts in that VCC then ground we will provide ground and out will be the uh, signal that will be connected to our anal in one of our analog inputs okay so this is the uh, components that we need for building this circuit so here i have my arduino uno board we will get our five bolts from this uh, slot then we can use the ground there are two slots for the ground then we will use one of the inputs analog inputs uh, let's say let's use a0 okay so actually in the other i uh, know in the digital io pins we all, we also have their ground okay so there are two ports for the ground i mean two ports one at that at this side and another two ports at this side so meaning we uh, we can get three grounds in this uno board okay so let's start building the circuit first i will connect the pi bolts to the rows in my pcb where it is labeled positive okay then I'll be connecting the ground. So let me connect the ground. Okay. Then I will connect it to the port or the row where it is says, it says negative. Okay. Now I already have the power supply provided in my PCB. Okay. The next thing I will do since this row has pi volts, so I will be connecting here and connect it to my uh, BCC okay BCC 
Okay, then the next thing we need to do is connect our ground. Okay, so here in my IR sensor, I have there the ground. Okay, then I will connect it to the rows where I connect the ground. Okay, now the output signal, I will connect the output signal. Okay, of my v IR sensor output. Okay, then I will connect it in one of the analog input ports. So I will be using A0. Okay, now, so the power supply is being provided now for our IR sensor. Okay, so. Next step is to provide power supply also or we need to build a circuit for the two LED lights, okay? Now, for the LED lights, we are going to, as you, as you can see, the negative uh, leg of the LED is already connected to the rows uh, of RPCB where negative supply or ground is provided there okay so what i will be doing now i will be connecting the other two legs to our digital inputs so i will be using uh, digital pins two and three okay so let me get a piece of wire 